Rick uh, had left me uh, to cut out a bunch of material. So I was dadoing uh, an upper end on a cabinet. It's a 5 8 dado blade. I bound the material against the fence and it shot back at me and my hand went right into the blade. I wasn't there when the accident happened. Um, I got a call, I went back to the shop. It was horrible, I was just seeing the mess. Where I went looking, hoping to find some fingers and all I found was what looked like hamburger. table saw injury tends to involve multiple fingers. Usually it starts at the base of the small finger and then travels out towards the thumb, getting higher as the saw passes over the fingers. The first thing I think when I see an injury like this is which of these fingers I can save and replace which are not going to be salvageable. 60,000 table saw accidents a year, one every nine minutes. Somebody's going to get a finger or hand injury. Do the math. It's a question of when, not if. Four hours per finger to reattach, three fingers, 12 hours. If you could own a saw that could prevent this, why wouldn't you? My hand goes in the blade, and the worst thought is, your fingers are gone. And you're just thinking, I can't believe I just did that. I think most people would be surprised to know that most of the injuries with amputations are not amateurs, but these are professional men that use table saws every day. The more experienced you become, the more you're a candidate for an accident. After an amputation injury, it's not just healing the wounds, but it's a long period of therapy, multiple operations, pain medicine over years, and all this ends up to be very expensive. Our premiums just about tripled after the accident, which took us into a point that just about broke us. We're, we're seeing an average of about nine to $10,000 a claim for table saw injuries. Some of those are much more severe and get into the tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on the severity of the injury. When you can eliminate those costs from coming in, you're affecting your experience rating modification, which affects your premium cost, and you're making yourself more insurable. Just about every week I see injuries that involve amputated fingers. Um, it might be a couple fingers, three fingers, but I see amputated fingers all the time. We designed this saw to be the safest table saw ever built. I think of it like seat belts or an airbag for table saws. The mechanism is very sophisticated, but the technology behind it is actually quite simple. The blade carries a small electrical charge. This charge is continuously monitored by a digital signal processor. When contact is made, the human body absorbs some of the charge, causing the voltage to drop. The drop in voltage triggers a quick-release aluminum brake. A heavy-duty spring forces the brake into the teeth of the spinning blade. The teeth dig into the aluminum, stopping the blade cold. The blade's momentum forces it to retract below the table, and the motor is automatically shut off. All of that happens in less than five thousandths of a second. That's ten times faster than a car's airbag, all without damaging the saw. If the brake is activated, 
It takes less than five minutes to replace the brake assembly. Just slip in the cartridge, put a new blade on, and you're back in business. One of my employees walked up to me in the shop and said, the saw works, and he raised his hand up. At the average speed that someone pushes wood through a saw, by the time you feel the saw touch your fingers, there's not time to flinch and pull your hand away before your fingers are amputated. And there was a nick on his finger that basically I've seen slivers that caused more blood, and I looked over at the saw and there was no blade showing from the surface of the saw. The saw stop drops out of the way and prevents that injury. And that's when he realized the saw worked. It's not just about the safety. When we were designing this saw, our goal was to make it cut wood better than any other saw you could buy. And that's what we did. It's just a, an excellent piece of equipment to have in the shop. It's the choice between a wound you can treat with a Band-Aid or hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical expenses. Now we've gone over and beyond the OSHA regulations of guarding to help prevent an employee from having an injury. You lower your frequency of injury, you lower your cost of claims, you're going to lower your insurance premium. I feel like I can leave the shop and not have to worry that somebody's going to be able to get their hand in there and, and lose some fingers. If I'd have been using a, a saw stop that day, the accident happened, I can't imagine how life would be different. The saw stop cabinet saw is the safest, most technologically advanced table saw ever made. It sets new standards for table saws and includes features not found on any other cabinet saw. One of the most popular features is the riving knife. Long a standard in Europe, it reduces the risk of kickback by preventing your workpiece from shifting into the back of the blade. Like the saw stop safety system, the riving knife protects you without getting in the way. The low profile blade guard sits close to the blade for better visibility and can be used for narrow cuts where other guards can't. The blade guard is held in place by a proprietary quick change mount. This mount also holds the riving knife and allows for a quick change between the blade guard and riving knife without the use of tools. Each saw includes a custom cut zero clearance insert to minimize chipping and splintering of your material. The blade shroud encloses the blade to catch dust and channel it through a hose to the vacuum port. Dual push-button doors provide easy access to the cabinet and include interlock switches to shut off power to the motor when opened. The large on-off paddle is positioned so you can turn the saw off with your knee without letting go of your material. If your brake cartridge ever activates to save your finger, installing a new brake is both simple and foolproof. First, remove the locking key. and then slide the old brake out.
Next, slide the new brake cartridge on and install the key to lock it in place. Your saw will be up and running again in just minutes. You can replace the standard brake cartridge with an optional dado cartridge shaped to stop an 8-inch dado set. It mounts in the saw just like the standard brake, so you'll have saw stop protection even when making dado cuts. With 25% more cast iron than the competition, it's the smoothest running saw you can buy. Multi V-ribbed belts are the new standard in high performance power transmission. They provide more torque with less vibration and are a major improvement over the V-belts found on ordinary saws. A stronger arbor and 30 to 50 percent larger bearings ensure less vibration and longer life. Each saw is perfectly aligned at the factory so that every cut is dead on. The extra large table is machine ground to the tightest tolerances from a solid piece of cast iron. A gas spring carries the weight of the internal mechanism so that raising and lowering the blade are effortless. In addition, the trunnions and motor are perfectly balanced for precise tilt adjustment. No other fence glides over the saw as smoothly as the T-glide fence. Multiple glide plates and the adjustable rail prevent the rough, jerky movement that's common with other fences. Continuous self-checks monitor the safety system and ensure it's functioning properly. A green light means the saw is ready to go. The bypass feature allows you to cut conductive material without activating the brake. Since the safety system is disabled while in bypass, you can remove the key to make sure the safety system is always active. You can easily disable the main power switch by removing the yellow key. You can also shut off power to the saw by locking the disconnect switch in the off position. Revolutionary safety. Unsurpassed quality. Experience the precision and peace of mind that is SawStop.